episode of Crank Lord Motive. We're up to the last episode of the Suzuki, so pretty much it's uh, it's done. So I'm pretty happy with how the whole build went. Uh, got all the dash working. Uh, the vehicle performs very, very well, so still yet to take it up for a bit of a orby. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty happy just um, driving it around road testing and uh, yeah, there's no issues, so pretty happy. Uh, we've got all the dash working. Uh, I installed some aftermarket gauges, um, just a precautionary thing. I don't really trust too many uh, factory dashes, especially not in these things. Uh, apparently, these temperature gauges are a bit dicky on them, but this one seems to work. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. And as you can see, I've already installed the uh, light bar and yeah, a few other little things. So. I'll show you what I've been up to and uh, what I've done with a few things and I'll show you everything working. So, light bar and everything's on. Give it a quick wash and cleaned all the windows and stuff too, so. Looks all right. And a bit of tire shine, mate. Oh, fixes everything. So. But no, nah, it's all, um, all pretty good and I just put some seat covers on it because the uh, seats are pretty trash so looks better than it did pretty much uh, installed some gauges so water temp uh, voltage and the boost gauge but there's no boost it just reads vacuum so better than just having a open hole so turn them on The, um, the OHF full mounted and wired in properly. Some had been here before, so pretty much just ripped out all the wiring that I haven't done, uh, apart from the factory stuff. And yeah, started again. So, and I've used the Bellino um, taco and just mounted it into the um, Sierra face plate and mounted it into the actual. Uh, instrument cluster itself so one little thing that I'm not or quite happy about and it's there you're supposed to have a little needle stop sort of thing stop it from going down like that but as soon as you turn the vehicle on it works so and everything else works so just a nice handy little way of doing it um, yeah temperature gauge does work it takes a little while but Pretty sick. Now, last episode, I, um, I sort of scratched my head a little bit about um, the intake hose. Um, I wasn't really keen on spending 200 bucks on just a bloody intake hose. Bit of a rip, so this might help some of you out. Uh, pretty much all I've done is I went out to the wreckers. Um, mates helped me out as well. I uh, went out to the wreckers and got this off a EFEL Falcon. Um, whichever one it is, or I think it was like a an L fair lane or something. Uh, pretty much perfect angle. I just had to make some holes, so it's not too bad. Got the um, ambient air temp and the uh, crankcase breather. And then I've just got a um, bit of silicon hose, chopped it up a little bit, and there's a solid pipe in there as well, so just to mount it on, but it works sweet. I'm happy as, and I didn't have to go and spend 200 bucks. Um, probably be a little bit neater going and getting the actual proper one but I, I like to do things on a budget and coming up with things myself sort of thing so and um yeah it's got a bit of everything in it forward bits nissan bits um yeah nah it'll be right no leakage pretty much the only thing is is not gonna suck up any dust it's sucking through the air cleaner and and i just got a little blanking off thing uh, here that's from the 
standard Suzuki. Uh, I think that's like a breather or something for it as well, but yeah, blocked it off so there's no shit getting in. And with the light bar, uh, when if you do put one on or a spotties or anything at, at all, you just have to remember that the um, the headlights are negative switched. Um, so might help you in the future. It's always good to just double check everything and before you mount all the wire and everything up. But it's a pretty neat little install. Add that one into there. I like everything to be nice and tidy. So yeah. I'm pretty happy with how the whole thing turned out, so and my hectic exhaust job hasn't fallen off yet, so it's pretty good. Sounds pretty neat too. overheating issues or anything like that and um, that's why I've installed a second gauge as well um, yeah in the future I might look at upgrading the radiators or uh, fully alloy one but for now it's it's doing its job it'll be right I'll put it through its paces uh, on the weekend go up to a mate's paddock got a bit of lean so a few hectic tracks up there apparently so we'll go and see how the old girl performs so yeah no it's uh, all come together fairly well pretty happy well uh, hasn't overheated hasn't done anything bad you know no um, funny business or anything like that so as i said don't mind the bumps tires and fall low So, pretty happy with, um, no, I'm very happy with how the build went and how it's all, uh, it's all done. So, the uh, temperature is pretty good. We're running nice and cool. It is quite a cool day. And, uh, don't mind the fuel gauge there. It's a bit dicky, but yeah. Sweet as. 
So the little Zerg went pretty well up at the um, up in my mate's paddock. Uh, he's got a few tracks up there, so uh, didn't have any issues or, any, or anything like that. So no funny business, which is always good. Um, when you are doing a little bit of R&D, you do want to make sure you take some spare oil and, and water and, in case things do go wrong. Um, you can always zip ties and just a few tools and stuff. So, so I just like to be prepared for, for the worst sort of thing. So. Um, but no, I didn't need any of that, which is really good. So I'm quite happy with it. Uh, all I had to do is just give it a bit of a clean and um, just yeah, a bit of a wash and stuff as well, get all the shit off it. So uh, very happy with how it's all turned out. So, and I'm, I'm happy to say that things done now. So I'll put it through its paces and um, it's ready to go back to its rightful owner. So I hope she's pretty happy with it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos. Um, if you have any questions or you know comments or anything like that, throw them at me in the comments below. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Uh, always trying to do cool stuff, so um, still trying to figure out which one of my other vehicles I want to do next. Um, so keep an eye on my YouTube channel, and I'm on Instagram now too. So. Just go over and follow Crank Automotive on Instagram. I do throw up a few little pics here and there. That's what we're working on. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys really enjoy watching the videos as much as I like making them. Uh, and until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.